Okay, it's been a while since I've uh, been doing preview videos and uh, the plane's been out for three months but you know that we're working on uh, patch 1.1 and I'm going to start previewing some of its features. Uh, it's still a while off but um, today I want to talk about the enhanced ground proximity warning system and why we had uh, most of the features of the real uh, enhanced ground proximity warning system in the current version already. We have uh, used uh, some default X-Plane warnings and um, in general the warnings were not very high fidelity. They didn't trigger at the exact right points in time for the exact right conditions and we worked all that stuff over. The first thing, a visual uh, sign of that you will see is the new uh, panel. We have a terrain inhibit switch now and we have two enunciators that will uh, light up when the AC electronic 115 volt bus fails and um, then of course you won't hear any warnings from the ground proximity warning system. I'm going to run through the different modes real quick just to showcase them and uh, don't want to make this movie too long so let's get started. Okay the first mode I want to show you is the mode 1 excessive descent rate. It's a uh, very straightforward. Um, all modes, uh, let me uh, tune a different frequency here so we don't get the glide slope thing. All modes of, of the conventional ground proximity warning system cannot be triggered above 2,500 feet radar altitude. And for the sync rate, sync rate to come on, you need to be over 5,000 feet per minute descending below 2,500. It's an adaptive envelope. So um, the closer you get to the ground, the more sensitive it is. And uh, the first part of the envelope is the sync rate, sync rate. Here you go. And then the second envelope is the pull up. And when you get that, you of course should pull up and um, reduce your rate of descent. Mode 2 is called excessive terrain closure rate. And to demonstrate it, I need to disable the enhanced ground proximity warning system because it would trigger before this one does. Now, watch the radar altitude. The uh, plane measures the rate that the ground below is approaching the airplane and tries to figure out what kind of mountain is ahead. Uh, and when it deems that there is a mountain ahead coming up too, fa too fast or the ground is coming up too fast to the airplane from below, terrain, terrain. you will get the terrain terrain. terrain, terrain. And you can see that this might be really, really late depending on the type of terrain. And um, there are two modes to, to the mode 2. There's 2A and 2B. If you're clean aircraft configuration, then you're in mode 2A and you will need to gain at least 300 feet in barometric altitude for the warning to stop after you exit the warning envelope. And um, I'm just mentioning this because it might confuse you. You're already across the mountain and there is a valley behind and you're still getting the, the warning where well, you need to climb 300 feet barometric altitude to get the warning to cease. Okay, mode 3 is uh, called altitude loss after takeoff or go around and it does exactly what the description says. If you lose altitude during the initial part of your climb out during after a takeoff or a go around, you will get a warning and I will demonstrate that taking off and now I'm grab stupid pilot reducing thrust not paying attention don't sink don't sink don't sink don't sink don't sink don't sink and don't the don't sink, sink warning is uh, valid until 1300 and 33 feet radar altitude. Okay, mode 4A is called um, unsafe terrain clearance with landing gear not down. I will demonstrate that real quick. Here we go descending at 210 knots. We simply forgot to put the landing gear down and I'm over the uh, Lake Kimsey to give us some nice smooth terrain underneath. Of course you'll hear the gear warning. That's a conventional warning. Cancel that one. Too low, terrain. And Too low, terrain. 
If you're over 190 knots, you will hear too low terrain. And um, once you slow below 190 knots. And are below 500 feet radar altitude. We need to get some flaps out to trigger the warning. There's the two low gear warning. Of course, you can cancel that in case you want to do an off airfield landing with a gear inhibit switch, and that's that. Now, here's mode 4B. It's called unsafe terrain clearance with flaps not in landing position. I'm at flaps 15, and I'm uh, pretending that I forgot to extend them to uh, 30 or 40, and um, actually, the mode triggers if they're. 15 or less but um, during a single engine landing if you forget to put the flap inhibit switch to inhibit then you will get this warning and it's uh, triggers below uh, 159 knots and being below 245 feet radar altitude and if you're faster than that just like with the 4a mode you would hear the too low terrain warning so let's see if we get the two low flaps here, below 245 feet radar altitude. that this flaps. can be disabled with the flap inhibit switch as well in case you want to land with flaps 15 on purpose for example okay this mode is uh, mode 5 called um, below glide slope deviation alert and it does what it advertises if you have a glide slope or an ILS selected with a glide slope valid signal and you descend below the glide slope by more than 1.3 dots uh, you will get this uh, warning and um, it's not active until you are below 1000 feet radar altitude and more important or uh, another important thing is if the course that you have selected on the controlling flight control computer and the course of the airplane is differing by more than 90 degrees like it would be now then um, it will not play so this is if you do a localizer back course approach so that's a safeguard but uh, so to hear the warning you have to have this um, within 90 degrees of the approach course try to take this movie a couple times and wondered why the uh, warning didn't trigger <laughs> until it dawned on me that I had this still set to 300 okay I'm going to descend below the glide slope deliberately now this is the off schedule descent that you're probably familiar with by now and um, below 1000 feet the warning gets armed 1000 and as I descend, glide slope. I get the below glide, glide slope, slope warning. And the lower you get to the ground and the further you're glide away slope. from the glide slope, the more urgent the warning becomes, glide slope. both in volume glide and slope. in frequency. I'll demonstrate that by glide flying slope. really close to the ground. Glide slope. Glide slope. Glide slope. Glide slope. Sink rate. Sink rate. Of course, the sync rate warning gets precedent over the glide slope. Glide slope. Glide slope. Glide slope. Glide slope. Minimum. Glide slope. Glide slope. And if you're doing glide this on slope. purpose, glide maybe slope. during a glide circling slope. approach glide or something slope. like that, glide then you slope. can cancel the glide warning slope. by pushing glide the slope. below glide slope light. Glide slope. And then it's gone until you climb over 3,000 feet again or below 30 feet again. Then it, it gets rearmed and would trigger again. Okay, mode six is all these advisory callouts. 
and um, you know when you pass an altitude like uh, uh, 1000 or, or 400 or so and there's one thing I want to show you that we added we've had these before when you pass 500 feet on a on an ILS approach you will not get a 500 feet call out this is just like in the real airplane when the plane senses that you have selected an ILS receiver you will just pass 500 feet nothing will happen but if you don't then you would get it. I'll uh, show you real quick. Passing 500, nothing happens, and the first call out you get is 400. 400. So let's go back, and um, I'm just going to scoot myself up 200 feet again, and back just a tiny bit, and let's do this again. And this time I will tune away the frequency. Oops, I just missed it. Okay, let's just go over 500 again, just to show you. If you're not on, on a non-precision approach and you're descending, this is uh, called an awareness call out. Here we go. And there's the 500. Now the real novice thing about the enhanced ground proximity warning system is the terrain look ahead feature um, the sheer cliff protection as some people call it the database that's inside the plane that knows where a mountain is and I'll demonstrate that now as you've seen before on mode 2 sometimes the warning comes really late if you're just looking below the aircraft if you're approaching a steep mountain like this in this case you get warning a little earlier caution terrain the terrain pops up and you get an ample warning time to pull up and turn away. And you can see here that all the terrain that is shown is the one that's conflicting ahead and you have a chance to make it out alive. So again this is uh, not a mode of the regular ground proximity warning system it's called the Enhanced Ground Proximity Warning System. It works off of a database. You need to have the airplane's position, usually through the IRS and FMS units computing it, and then it will compare the position and altitude to the known terrain database, and if it knows that, or if it figures out that there is a mountain or obstacle ahead, then you will get the warning. Of course, X-Plane does not have a database for obstacles like buildings and stuff like the real uh, e enhanced ground proximity warning system has so um, you will not get a warning if you approach a skyscraper or some man-made obstacle but uh, we are pulling the terrain database ahead of the aircraft and um, give you a warning for that as you just saw.